what up what up what up this is star stars and first wisdom what's good aries hopefully you guys are doing well if you're new to my channel welcome if you are returning welcome back love you lots this is going to be for aries sun moon rising venus as well as north node this could be involving a soulmate a twin flame someone from your soul tribe family member friend anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for aries so this may resonate for you um going into next week um, if you would like to donate to the channel, that information is down below and very much appreciated. And if you would like to um, get a personal, they're still special for 777 until November 2nd. Um, as usual, if it resonates for you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know. All right. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and get into it. We'll just smudge us off a little bit. All right, so your overall focus for this week, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, um, an Aquarius, or a Leo, specifically dealing with a Leo, you could be, um, hold on, let me see, I can't see that, uh, oh, okay, so you could either be getting dropped by a Leo, or you could be dropping a Leo, all right, so let's see, for Aries, yeah, fire, so you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, or, um, this could be you. Some of you guys, there could be a missed opportunity with the Leo. Um, or someone could have had a missed opportunity with you. Uh, some of you guys could have had a missed opportunity with an artist or like going towards some type of art, you know, endeavor. So you guys could have missed the opportunity uh, with music or acting or singing or whatever. Um, but I feel like you needed to focus on your health. This could be your mental health. All right. Yeah, somebody could have been using spell work on you, all right? I hope you pussy using spell work on nobody else. But um, that's why you weren't experiencing some type of growth or you could have been stagnant. Uh, somebody could have been using, not necessarily a dark magic voodoo santeria or nothing like that. It could be that somebody was manipulating you in a situation or you could have been dealing with a narcissist and uh, or somebody that was just basically feeding you a bunch of BS, you know what I'm saying? And that's why you could have been an overthinker, all right? So definitely getting fired. We got fire all up in here, so um, definitely uh, Leo, Sag, or another Aries. All right, so I feel like something is a part of your destiny, but you could have been overthinking, or you could still be overthinking, but the divine, the most high... God source is trying to get you to realize that you need to walk away from a situation in order to walk away from some type of dark magic or some type of um, something that's stagnating you and stopping you from being the destined artist that you are destined to be. Uh, so, or it could be a true love situation as well. Some of you guys are, uh, you have a true love soulmate around you, but uh, this could be somebody in the distance from you, or this could be in the distance here. You're going to run into your true love um if you go towards your uh, basically walking away from this fire sign situation and going towards your true passion, your true desires. And like I said, it could be some form of art, uh, dancing, singing, acting, something like that. All right. So um, that's just to get started. And then I'm going to go into each sign you could be dealing with. So um, let's see. Which ones am I going to use? Okay, these guys. All right, so if you are dealing with a Capricorn, all right, Capricorn, oh, Capricorn, Aries dealing with the Capricorn. Capricorn could definitely be thinking about y'all. All right, so in the recent past, some of you guys, uh, this person could have got stable financially. Um, they could have got more grounded, more mature. You could have felt abandoned by this person. Um, or this person could have uh, just walked away from a situation to stabilize themselves. All right, yeah, I feel like this person uh, decided to be single by choice, all right, um, and you could, or you could be feeling a type of way about that, or um, this person could be feeling a type of way about you uh, deciding to be single by choice. So somebody could want to fight with you at this time, or somebody could want to communicate harshly towards you, talk some shit, uh, because you're being more responsible, more mature, so I feel like somebody's just being, I don't know, I feel like somebody being petty or immature, 
Um, yeah, I feel like somebody sees that a new love is coming towards you uh, or a new love has came towards you and this person can now be bored. Um, and I feel like now somebody sees you have stable money or you see this Capricorn has stable money. Again, it could go either way. Um, but I feel like somebody definitely decided to be uh, separate themselves from the situation by choice. But now I feel like uh, this Capricorn could want to come back in, start, you know, try to compete or something like that. Maybe this person knows that you have a new love. And I feel like now this person uh, that walked away from you. Yeah, some of you guys could be married or could be getting married. And now this person that decided to walk away, they want to come back around. Um, it could be because they're materialistic here. All right. Or if this is you and it goes the other way around, don't be being materialistic and trying to come back around on somebody married. OK, um, because I feel like somebody definitely decided to be single in a situation here and separate themselves um, because they thought there was an opportunity elsewhere or that they could do it, you know, somewhere else. But I feel like now that that, uh, you know, once that person walked away, I feel like you got you may have gotten stable and uh, possibly a stable offer here. It could be, like I said, a proposal that could lead to a marriage. But I feel like somebody is going to try to be uh, try to come back around. Yeah, because they feel like uh, you're more uh, grounded. You're more mature. You could uh, be talented. So, like I say, you could be an artist. So this person may want to come back around. A Capricorn may want to come back around to you because they feel that you'll be successful in some type of art or endeavor. All right. So be careful with that. Yeah, I feel like this person is emotionally immature. Maybe you dealt with this person when you were younger, when you were more immature. Um, and I feel like the divine had to, you know, step in, give you some, give you some guidance. Possibly uh, your intuition, you know, is uh, heightened at this time. And I feel like you may have dealt with this person before when you were immature, but I feel like now you realize that this will be a troublesome relationship here. All right, between you and a Capricorn. Okay, so let me see. Dealing with an aqua. All right, so you could have a um, positive spiritual connection with an Aquarius or someone with Aquarius in their chart. Um, I feel like in the past, uh, this person could have been a little uh, immature or slow to move, um, or this could have been you. I feel like definitely somebody here is a, a hard worker, but they could have been uh, just slow to move or slow to get something going here my bad y'all i got chef wordy in here cooking it up okay um but anyways yeah i feel like uh, somebody could have been being emotionally manipulative in the situation between you and this aqua so it could have been that uh someone was in between the two of you guys it could have been a, for some of you guys a third party situation like a mistress or something um somebody has somebody on the side and this person could have been uh, manipulative or uh this aquarius could have been manipulative and that's why they were slow to move towards you because they had somebody else on the side or um, they were getting manipulated by somebody in their life, and that's why they were slow to move towards you or slow to put in work uh, in this situation with you. Or this could have been you towards them. But I feel like now uh, this person is stable. I feel like uh, if you were wondering if this person was going to put in the work, if you were wondering if this person was going to be the dream come true lover that you, you know, like they presented themselves to be, I feel like that is happening. Things are stabilizing out. I feel like things are balancing between you and this person. Um, I see that there's stable love, stable, um, you know, income could be coming in or could be here. I feel like things are balancing out between you and Aquarius here, um, but definitely somebody was slow to put in work or slow to make a move towards something, or this could be you, all right? Yeah, I feel like um, you may be uh, having to, this person, or you may be having to juggle like work and, um, you know, commitments at home or something like that in the immediate future here, um, or somebody could be trying to hold on to you juggling them, okay, or uh, this Aquarius could be wanting you to juggle or to continue to juggle situation here. I feel like um, I'm definitely feeling like somebody may want to try to hold on to this Aquarius. Yeah, because they see them moving forward. So, OK, I feel like there's a third party situation here somewhere. Somebody has a and it may not be like a third party situation with a lover. It may just be like family or something like that. But there is a separation here where somebody has been putting their uh, dividing their time and, you know, into two places. And I feel like in the immediate future here, somebody could still be trying to balance something out here because somebody is going to try to hold on tight because they see someone moving forward. OK. Um, but I feel like, you know, this Aquarius may decide to not start over with this juggling act and just, uh, try to balance out finances and the family. All right. Um, 
Because I feel like this person realizes that they were slow to make a move or slow to put in work here. Um, and I feel like somebody like, oh, shit, this is my dream come true. So, you know, I'm going to have to put in some work here. So I feel like uh, your prayers were answered or this person's were. And I feel like, uh, but somebody from your past or theirs is trying to hold on tight. And I feel like, um, you know, but you or this Aquarius is going to decide to not start over with this situation that is, uh, you know, this... Um, decision you know this this family member or uh your family or your wife or and your family whatever it's like some type of dynamic where somebody's gonna have to decide that they're gonna have to stop balancing uh you know what they love and bullshit and they're gonna have to just uh you know go towards their dream come true all right so that's between you and aquarius all right i feel like this person could be wanting some loving all right um or, okay, it's somebody from their past that's still passionate towards them. It could be an ex. I feel like this person knows that they're not a good move to go back towards. Or a Leo Aries Sag. Yeah, somebody's going to, either you or this Aquarius is going to decide to go towards uh, happiness, which could be each other or, you know, it could be a, a creative endeavor or something like that. But someone knows it's not a good move to go back towards a Leo Aries Sag or an ex because somebody is uh, manipulative, all right? Yep, somebody's trying to manipulate someone's new love or something like that, all right? So, let's go ahead and see if you are dealing with a Leo. Like I said, I feel like some of you guys could be releasing a Leo or they could be releasing you. All right, so you could have had a stable foundation with this person, all right? Or you could have got uh, basically either moved in with a, a lover or... Um, yeah, I feel like some of you guys could have moved in with your lover, okay? Uh, it could be a new home. You guys could be manifesting a new home with your uh, with your bank, with your person, okay? I feel like, yeah, you guys are moving forward. So some of you guys could have uh, could have decided to move forward with the lover. Um, and I feel like, ooh, this Leo could be pissed, all right? This could be somebody who's, like, unapologetic, somebody who could be, like, greedy or something like that. Yeah, somebody sees dollar signs, okay? I feel like somebody is uh, being materialistic here. Um, and could be focused on material. And so I feel like that's why somebody is, you know, still watching. I feel like somebody is looking at somebody go towards, uh, you know, their dream come true. This could be a love or this could just be wish fulfillment, a new home. All right. And I feel like, yeah, somebody you having a wish fulfillment or a new home is no emo is not emotionally fulfilling to somebody else. So I guess somebody is hating because they feel like you're manifesting your dream come true and somebody don't like that. So this could be this Leo or this could be you. All right. Yeah, I feel like somebody is mentally confused as to why you won't begin again with them. I feel like somebody wants a rebirth here. So this Leo could be um, confused about why you're uh, focusing on your dreams and your desires. I feel like this person um, is probably like, oh, I got money. I got this. I got that. Like, why don't you come over here? Like, I got everything you need. Why would you be over there broke? Or why would you be over there, you know, um, just talking? I feel like somebody talking shit like I got the I'm the one who has the stability. I'm the one who has the money. You don't need my you know, you don't need my help. But I feel like this is confused. It's going to confuse somebody why you're not, you know, thirsty after their help or why you're not trying to get their help or something like that. I feel like this person is like upset about that. But they, you know, they want to rebirth the situation here with you. But somebody wants to make you feel like you need them. OK, yeah, I feel like somebody being a bitch. All right. Uh, somebody definitely may want to come and start a fight with you or something like that. Um, yeah, definitely. This could be, um, you know, this could be have to do with the air sign. So this could have to do with the Aquarius. But I feel like somebody definitely is, uh, ooh, I just heard hyphy, hyphy, hyphy. All right. Ooh, so who from the Bay? Somebody from California from the Bay? Um, from the Bay to the A. Uh, uh, yeah. I feel, oh my gosh. But anyways, I'm definitely getting that somebody here, um, could be watching they could be stalking they could be pissed off all right and they could want to cuss you out because but because they confuse why you ain't trying to come to them rebirth the situation with them to make them to join some ego tug of war power struggle with them or um this person wants to basically flex on you and act like they're better than you or whatever and somebody's like why won't you come back around and take that no more why won't you come back around and um i just heard oakland um but yeah why won't you come back around so we can fight and be in conflict and bullshit or whatever 
I feel like, yeah, why don't you come back around so I can take all your money? Why don't you come back around so while I'm sitting here flexing on you, like, oh, I got the money, I got the bag, and you're losing money or you're broke, like... Who wants to who wants to go around back to a situation like that when somebody has wish fulfillment? So I feel like somebody's like, nah, I'm cool um, because this per and this person go be mad. They're going to be mad because they want to rebirth the situation. But I feel like you ain't willing to work together with this person no more because they're too emotionally manipulative. All right. Or this could be you. I don't know. All right, so let me go ahead and get some advice for you. Yeah, I feel like um, some of you guys were struggling financially, but you're not about to be struggling financially no more. Yeah, and that's why somebody's stuck in their head and miserable because somebody wanted you to be broke and wanted you to beg them and wanted you to need their help and shit like that. Um, but yeah, somebody's deciding to be a fool, all right? That's you, Aries. You know what I'm saying? That's you. So um, I feel like you definitely are trying, you know, trying to take this new leap of faith. All right, and I feel like that's the right thing to do. Um, yeah, stand your ground. You may have to block this person, okay? But anyways, uh, let's see. I'm going to get three random words just as, or I don't know, it's just messages or whatnot. Let's see what comes out for y'all for the sign of Aries. Aries. All right, divorce. So some of you guys, this could have to do with a divorce situation, all right? So it could have been someone's karmic lesson. So I feel like um, if you feel like you failed in a marriage or something like that, you're not a failure, you didn't fail. It's just that this was a karmic lesson that um, you needed to go through, something that you came here to do, you know what I'm saying, to, to be able to grow spiritually so that you could have a more fulfilling life, all right? Or you could be I'm also hearing a child of, of divorce. That was something that you needed to go through for your spiritual growth. All right. If they don't call, let them be. All right. So I feel like y'all need to raise your standards. If somebody don't call or text you back, F them. You know what I'm saying? Or not F them. You, you know, you can still be ladylike or, you know, manly like or whatever. But I feel like if somebody don't call you or text you, don't worry about it. Don't call him no more. Don't text him no more. Okay. Um, keep it pushing. I feel like you guys need to, uh, it could be an issue with your self-esteem. All right. Look, just take the leap. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, just take the leap. Be the fool. Okay. That's you Aries. Yeah. Some of you guys have a toxic family, um, that you could have been dealing with. It could be a family. A lot of your family members, um, have dealt with divorce. Divorce could be around you a lot. And I feel like, um, that could have led you to a relationship where you ended up divorcing someone or someone, whatever, um, you, you guys got divorced or it could be a situation where, um, you, you know, I feel like these things could have happened around you a lot so that you could learn, um, this lesson for your family, you know, to heal this generational, uh, it could be just something generational that, you know, is in your family divorce. And I feel like you guys need to basically hire your standards, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that is all for you guys till later, Aries.